Hi, Laurel. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. I apologize already. I'm realizing what camera I'm looking at now. And <laughs> oh, it's all good. So, I, you know, as I've been discussing with everybody, you know, as, as watching this movie, because obviously, you know, you could take these characters out of the religious background and get the same story in a lot of ways. I'm wondering what was the kind of genesis for wanting to kind of put it in that kind of world of, of, of Christianity? Uh, it was a couple of reasons. I think, you know, coming from personal place, um, I, I spent I spent time in, in, uh, with a group of women from a patriarchal church and my, my time with them was kind of, was very meaningful for me. Um, I, I had a relationship when I was a teenager with an older man and, um, okay. I'd had a lot of guilt about it. And I don't think I really realized that guilt until spending time with these women and, and learning about their beliefs, uh, you know, about just like female desire and how it's the woman's responsibility to not lead a man into temptation. And there's just, you know, there's a lot of similarities, uh, with how I grew up and, um, of course not to the same extreme, but it was just this critical turning point for me and, and it was meaningful. And so I think I, that was a reason I wanted to set it there and, and, and looking back at my, I wanted to look back at my experiences. Um, and it's probably helpful for me to like be a little bit removed from like my exact experience. Um, and the other thing is like, you know, we're just, we're a culture that is very much affected by conservative Christian thought. Like it affects my day-to-day -day life quite literally. Um, and it affects yours too. And I think I wanted to understand this world that affected my life so directly. And, and honestly, and in, in looking into it, ended up finding a lot of empathy um, and a lot of admiration for, for faith. Well, you know, it's also one of those things, too, where, like, I'm watching the movie. And again, you know, it's called The Starling Girl. You know, Eliza's the lead. So, you know, you just get so caught up in that part of the story that it wasn't until it was over did I realize, like, the full depth of her relationship with her father. And it was something that kind of, you know, that's when I kind of got shook, actually, when I realized all of the things he was trying to do based on his past and how much he was seeing it in her. Are those also things that kind of came from personal experience? Yeah, um, definitely things that I, I, I drew from, um, you know, things that with the relationship with my dad and who, who I love, um, who's wonderful. Um, but, you know, similar struggles that, that we've, that we've faced and sort of like us being reflections of each other. And, um, definitely a lot of that is personal. And I think also, and part of it too, just came from, you know, not wanting to only focus on the female experience in patriarchal systems, like showing that, you know, how how men experience it too and that it can patriarchal systems harm everyone not just yeah. women well it's also one of those things too like i see it from this is this is more now taking it on, on a much more brand uh broader level because mm -hmm. it's, it's just things i always think about i guess in a, in a weird way which shouldn't be the fact but you know because i get I look i don't know if this was your intention i don't know what other people saw um but i certainly again after the movie ended i started thinking about well Paul's friend was probably his lover. And the idea being that he kind of went into a specific lifestyle because it's just like when people say, it's like, well, why are all these priests, you know, uh, you know, dealing with little boys as well? Because they had those feelings. And they think the church is going to take it away from them. That's not the case. That's not what it's there for. And, I, I, and I'm wondering if there were also these sub rivers of, of kind of things you want to explore that were not the main path that were also kind of being put out in the background a little bit. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, there, there've been a couple of people that have, have wondered if that was Paul's backstory, um, which I love. Um, I, I love that, uh, you don't have the answer really, and that you're, you're left to, to try to, to figure it out and, and think about it. Um, that that's my favorite way to watch a film, right? Is yeah, to absolutely. try to be figuring out what's going on, uh, how I feel about something. No, I, I, I agree with you 100% because that, as much as I want to have in my mind what I think are the answers, ambiguity really gives you the best kind of viewing experience. For me, definitely. That's, that's yeah, that's how I like to watch movies. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Have a yeah, great day. Absolutely. Thank you. You too.